people will get on your ways. People will try to bring you down. People will do all manner of things to see you down. But love conquered everything. When you show them the pure love of God, when you show them that agape kind of love that God has given unto us, trust me, my beloved brother, they, at last they will have a change of mind. And God will be there to fight your battle for you. But when you take things into your end by hating one another, you don't know God. This is not my word. I'm not condemning any man. I'm not con con condemning anybody. I'm not judging anybody, but I'm just giving you the pure word of God. As I'm talking to you, I'm also talking to myself. As I'm talking to you, I'm also talking to as many that do not love. James, the book of James, says faith without work is dead. We came to God by faith, by believing in the finished work of his son on the cross of Calvary for our salvation. And God sealed us with the spirit and gave us that spirit to help us walk in the right way we are supposed to walk. So, people of God, let us listen to what the Spirit says and walk according to the way of the Lord. By putting this love of God into action, not just say, I love, I love with your lips. Love with action. Praise the Lord. Some time ago, somebody told me, oh, when I greet this sister, he doesn't, leave, he doesn't answer. When I talk to him, oh, I will stop, don't stop. Keep greeting, keep praying, keep showing love in any way you can. That pure love of God, keep doing it and let God be the judge. Because if you turn around and say, oh, I'm not greeting, oh, that, that's the end. Trust me, you don't know God. I used to be like that. During my days of growing up, when you do anything, oh, please, I put you aside. I don't have time for you. I just march along. But thank God today that I really know him. I know his word. There is nothing so powerful like the word of God. The word of God will wash you. The word of God will change you. The word of God will give you a new life. The word of God will make you new because he said it in his word. In the second book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16, he said anyone that is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Now all things are now new, people of God. If you believe that when you're born again and you're still hating somebody, that means all things in your life has not passed away. This is the time to come back for true repentance. This is the time to seek God afresh. This is the time to come to him and let he, that spirit that he has given to you that is just lying down dom dominant, without working because of the things we do, because of the character, the way, lifestyle we have, it seems like the fruit of the Spirit is not in us. It's in you. It was given to you right from the day you became born again. But due to our actions, a lot of things, that Spirit is just lying there as if it is sleeping. But tonight, my brothers and sisters, you are going to pray. You are going to ask God, Father God, I, I want you to take away this spirit of, this spirit that is working in my life negatively, not making me to love my brothers and sisters, not making me to express that kind of agape love you have for me towards one another. Lord, take away this spirit away from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
my beloved sister, when you go on your knees and seek the face of God, consigning what I'm saying, you will see a change in your life. You will see a change in everything consigning you. And you will see how people will embrace you. You will see how people will begin to testify that you are a child of God. You know God. Praise the Lord. Knowing God is not just telling people I know God. It's your action through the word of God. Praise the Lord. It's what you do. Confessing the word of God. Putting it into action in your life. It's not just hearing the word. It's not just saying the word. But putting it in action. When we hear it, we be the doer of the word. So that people will magnify our God in heaven. And know that we are one of his disciples. We are children of the kingdom. Praise the Lord somebody. The true nature of God. The true nature of God. It has no fear. Praise the Lord. He doesn't hate. Praise the Lord. He doesn't hate people around us. Praise the Lord. When you say you know God and you've not seen God and you say you know him and you hate people around you, that means you do not know God. Hallelujah. And he says... This is a commandment that I have from him that he who loveth God, love his brother also. Praise the Lord. Let us go quickly to the book of Matthew. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 22. Praise the Lord. We just want to see if this commandment is of true or what I'm saying is my own word. Let's check it from the book of God, from the, from the Bible. Praise the Lord. Yes, we are looking into the book of Matthew chapter 22 and we will read from Verse 36, Matthew chapter 22 from verse 36. The word of God says, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? 37, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Praise the Lord. You can see that is a command. Again, let us see John, the book of John. St. John, St. John chapter 13, people of God. Praise the Lord. John 13. Yes, 13 from verse 34 and 35. Praise the Lord. Yeah, the word of God says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another. As I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Praise the Lord. By this shall all men know that you are my disciple, if you have loved one to another. Praise the Lord. Here, where I read from Matthew, is telling us that two greatest commandments that he has given to Mankind, the new commandment, apart from the Ten Commandment that was given to Moses, here is telling us that these two commandments covers those Ten Commandments that was given to Moses in those days. This, Jesus Christ is telling us, 
One, to love God because God is love. Hallelujah. Then he also told us to love our neighbors, love one another. Why did he say we should love God first? Because God is love. Hallelujah. If you say you know God and you don't love God, you don't have the agape love of God, you don't know God. Praise the Lord. And he comes again and says, love your neighbor. These two commandments covers all the commandments because if you love God, you will not hate your brother. If you love God, you will not steal. You will not envy. You will not backbite. You will not gossip. You will not envy. You will not be jealous. You will not hate. You will not be so fast in getting angry because when you love God, the love of God is unconditional. Praise the Lord. When you love God, you know God, you dwell in God, and God dwells in you. You dwell in the Word of God. The Word of God will wash you. We keep all these things away from you. And that spirit of that is input in you We continue to grow. It will continue to expel every darkness in your life. We begin to grow. We begin to mature. And that nine fruit of the spirit we begin to take place and expand in your life. And it will give no room for any nonsense. Praise, the, praise God, children of God. I'm so carried away because knowing God is everything that you can imagine. Praise the Lord. That's why sometimes we pray. It seems like God is not answering our prayer. Sometimes we pass through a lot of things because the love of God in we are supposed to express to one another that is the true agape love of God. We are not doing it. A lot of us are not doing it. And we claim to know God. No, we do not know God. And by doing this, we are hindering ourselves from the blessings of God. God has given us all manner of blessings like I told you children of God. He has given us all manner of blessing in the spiritual realm that is manifesting in our physical uh, 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 Life, yeah, we are living. But when we have no love, we hinder the blessings of God in our life. Praise the Lord. Like I started the study the first week, I said a lot of us, we confess, we were born in the church. We were brought up in the church. We are pioneer of a church. We are deacons, we are pastors, we elders. But do we really have the love of God in us as we confess to one another? Having that love is loving one another. Having the love of God in you is loving one another. The true nature of love that God has given unto us is to love one another without any condition. Praise the Lord. We saw it here again in the book of John. The gospel of John. St. John. He says here, chapter 13, verse 34 to 35. A new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have loved one another, one to another people of God. Let's go back to our scripture from the book of First John chapter 4. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy because this is not my word. This is the word of God. As you are about to celebrate Valentine, if you are celebrating it with your husband, make sure you are doing it with the pure love of God. If you are celebrating it 
with your friends, your classmates, your neighbors, your co-worker, whoever. Make sure you are celebrating it with the agape love of God. And you that is not born again, you are celebrating love. Do you know what love is? If you are not a born again child of God, if you have not known God, that which you are celebrating is not love. Praise the Lord. You have to know the giver of love. You have to know God. To have God in your life. You cannot give what you don't, you don't have. Praise the Lord. You are not a child of God. You have not made Jesus Christ your Lord and personal Savior. How do you know you love? How can you give what you don't have? No man can give whatever. To, no man can give out what he does not have. Praise the Lord. For example, if I say, come, I'll give you 10,000. And when you come, I don't have the 10,000. Where am I going to, to, to get it to give to you? Because I don't have it. Praise the Lord. But if I have it, I'll say, come. And when you come, you will have the full assurance and I will have the full assurance that I have the 10,000 to give to you because I have it. Praise the Lord. I cannot give what I don't have. So you, you say you know God and you have not given your life to God. You are celebrating Valentine. You say you love somebody. You do not have love. First of all, you must acknowledge the giver of love. You must accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. Get to know him. Surrender to him. Give your life to him so that he will seal you with his spirit and impute in you and put in you that spirit of love which will continue to manifest in you for people to know that you know God and you have the fruit of love in you to share. Praise the Lord, people of God. I love you all, my brothers and sisters, both you an unbeliever and you that are born again. I love everybody with the love of God. I'm just bringing this message to every one of us that is hearing the sound of my voice for you to know that when we say we know God, it's not by saying it. We should put it into action. And we should go deep into the word of God and read it and know if we really know God concerning what the word of God is saying. Like we started two weeks ago, we started from the book of First John chapter 4. We first of all read from verse 7 to 8. I will repeat that again. It said, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. That is the center of our message, knowing God. You can come and tell somebody you know God. You know God when you hate your brother, you hate your sister, you see your beloved brother is surrounded, has nowhere to sleep, and you just brush it out. They are hungry. You can extend your hand and give them something to eat where, whereby you are in the position to do that. And you see some of them looking for job where you are in the position to call somebody so that they may get that job or they are working with you. You wanted to, you, 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 you're doing one thing or the other to keep them away from that job. No. Even people you don't know along your way, when they need help, render that, that help to them. That shows the love of God in you. That shows you know God. People of God, let us cultivate the habit to love one another. It shows the love of God in us. Even brethren in the church. What is conf causing confusion among us? Because the love of God is not there. Praise the Lord. Like Paul said to the Corinthians, because the love of God is not in their midst. A lot of confusion, a lot of disagreements, 
a lot of character, a lot of foolishness going on that, that was going on in the church then. Paul called the attention. He said, come, you guys have to stop because if the love of God is in you, no man will hate anybody. No man will, 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 will insult anybody. No man will take somebody's property. No man will, will go to the extent of taking his father's wife. Nobody will go to the extent of doing evil to one another. Praise the Lord. That's why Paul gave that characteristics of love in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, he said, love is kind, love is patient, love does not boast, love does not stand evil, love is not proud, love is not easily angered. If we know all this, if we put all this into action in our home, in our place of worship, known as churches, in our community, in our neighborhood, in our place of work, the world will be a better place to stay till the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we give room to all these things. We give the room to the devil to manifest his evil ways in our life and we do away with the love of God that he has given unto us. That's why we see confusion everywhere because there is no love for one another. So tonight, as I'm concluding this message, go back and read the scripture very well. First John chapter 4, starting from verse 7 to verse 21. At your own quiet time, Pray for the Holy Spirit to reveal this word to you. And read it time without number. Soak yourself with the word of God. Let the word of God be rooted in your heart. And remember, I said in the book of John, St. John chapter 13, from verse 34 to verse 35, it's a command. When you do this, people will know you as the children of God. Praise the Lord. And also go and read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 from verse 1 to the end. Praise the Lord, which is verse 1 to verse 13. Hallelujah. And allow the Holy Spirit to minister with you, to minister to you what knowing God is all about. Knowing God is about loving one another because God is love. So in conclusion, my beloved brothers and sisters, let's read from the first book of Corinthians. Let's read from first book of Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, as our last scripture for the night. Praise the Lord. The word of God says here, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 from verse 13. It says, And now abided law, faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. That is King James. I'm going to read from NIV Bible. Praise the Lord, because a lot of us love reading from NIV. Let me read it so quickly. Praise the Lord. Chapter 13, from verse 13. He says, and now these three remains, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. What am I saying? Knowing God is Love, faith, hope, love is the greatest. And also in the book of Galatians, where we saw the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5 from verse 22. It says, love and mention the order. It started with love. Love 
is the greatest. The love of God is the greatest love of all mankind. Praise the Lord. No matter what kind of love you are expressing, without the love of God, that pure, unconditional love of God, that love that doesn't keep record, I called it, is the kind of love that God is expecting from you and me towards one another. And having that kind of love for one another means you know God. Go into your closet. Mirror yourself. Examine yourself. Is this type of love in you? If you know you are far, far away from it, go to the Lord in prayer. He will revive you. He will restore you. He will make it well for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I won't end this program without giving an opportunity for somebody that wants to give his or her life to the Lord tonight. If you are ready to make Jesus Christ your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I come before you as your son. I confess my sin. I want you to come into my heart today. I'm giving my life to you, have heard your word, how you gave your only begotten son to die for me on the cross of Calvary, just because you love me. I have come, O oh Father God, accept me the way I am in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have said this prayer with me, believe that you are a born again child of God. And I want you to give me a call by calling this number, 617-977-4755. I repeat that again, 617-977-4755. We will send you some materials, Bible and some other materials to make you have a good walk with our God. If you have found a place of worship, go to a Bible-believing church. Or if you do not have a place of worship, why not visit us at number 10, Frognan Street, Dorchester, Mass, 02124. We are located at number 10, Frognan Street, Dorchester, Mass, 02124. Praise the Lord. And if the Lord has touched you or ministered to you, I want you to reach Reach us. Come and bless this ministry so that we will be on to share the word of God with you. Nothing is too big, nothing is too small. Visit our website, www.newglobal.com and make your donation. God will really richly bless you. Nobody ever gives to the Lord and go back empty-handed as you give. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Remember, God is love. And if you know God, you must love your brothers and sisters, for God is love. God bless you. Hill Auto Sound con su impecable servicio de instalación y montaje en tu auto te invita a que pases por su local cuando necesites un trabajo garantizado. Profesionalismo, trato y más de 10 años de experiencia en el mismo local lo hacen el lugar preferido para todo tipo de instalación. Excelentes precios en el montaje de polarización de ventanas, encendido automático y en la venta e instalación de aros, gomas nuevas y equipos de sonido y video. En Blue Hill Auto Sound siempre hay una solución. Embarques, el comandante Chago sigue indetenible en el envío de cajas, tanques y paquetes a la República.